Hello crypto world, welcome to the Chart Historian. My name is Justin and on this channel I delve deep into crypto charts, exploring chart structures, fractals and patterns. So today I'm doing something a little different. I am going to talk about the US dollar currency index or the DXY or the US dollar index. Now I have this on a very big picture. This is on a month candle. So it's a very zoomed out view of the DXY. This is where it started back in 67. Now everyone is talking about what the DXY is doing. I mean, you can see it's just ripping. This is on a month candle and you can see how it's just moving up fast. Now, when you view it like this, it's hard to make heads or tails of it, but I'm going to show you a unique way of viewing the DXY that I believe will help clear things up. Now, this is going to be a 30,000 foot view of the DXY. So this area right here, I'm gonna highlight it because it's important. So this area of importance is from 1985 to 2002. And the reason why it's important is structurally, the DXY is repeating what took place here over here. Now the timing is different this time around. However, the structure is the same. So the way I'm going to handle this, because the timing is different, I'm going to break up this greater fractal into smaller fractals and place them over here. And you'll see how structurally it is the same thing being repeated just on a different time sequence. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this area right here is this area here. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to methodically go starting from here, copy these different sections of each fractal and paste them onto here and you'll see the bigger picture. So this section is this section now. Now let's move along and see what this section looks like. We copied this section right here, right over here, onto here. Now let's do the next section. And Okay, so this section is this section right here. So the timing is different and the height and depth, by the way, is also different. Now this can be very common with fractals. The structure repeats, but the height, depth, and timing can vary. It's, so every time it repeats, it's a unique expression of, of the original fractal. So let's keep moving along. Let's do this part. So this part is this part right here. Now let's do this part. Okay, so this is this part. Now let's do this part right here. Okay, once again, the timing and height is different, but it's the same basic structure playing out. Now let's do this part right here. This is the part that we're in, by the way. So as you can see, folks, the DXY has been following it fairly closely, and it, you can start seeing what we still have left to go. Now let's zoom in and get a better look at this structure. Okay, so here we are. This is still a month candle. As you can see, there is some variation here and there, but for the most part, structurally, it's very similar. Let's zoom in to a smaller time frame. Hey folks, so this is a three-day time frame, which is pretty close for this, this zoomed out picture. So as you can see, there is some variation to the basic structure, but fundamentally the overall structure is, is the same. It's following it, for the most part, I'd say pretty close. And, it, and once again, timing, depth, and height play out differently. Now here is where it gets more relevant to what is going on today. So as you can see, price has been moving up. Now this little part right here, we're gonna have to wait and see, is this just another stair step up to something like this. And this, I believe this is, it's quite a bit larger than this. And this is part of leading up to the, the peak that if it continues to follow, which it's been following this pattern folks for about what, 20 years now. So if it continues to follow this, we have this giant peak coming in. Now, one thing to, to note about this, this is not necessarily a good indication of how high it will go. This is topping out around 138 or close to 139, but that does not mean that it will necessarily top out here. So when you use a fractal in this way, it is not necessarily a 
indication of, of how high it could go. The height and depth could be different. The, the ratio of how high it went compared to the original fractal could be different. So it does give a rough idea, but I wouldn't use it to, to pinpoint a, a peak per se. But you can see in the bigger picture, we still have some, some interesting times ahead of us on the DXY. So here is the same structure, just zoomed out a little more on a weak candle. And as you can see how it is continuing to follow this structure. So we are in this section right here, which is coming towards the peak of this ascent. Well, folks, I hope this video was um, helpful. You know, if you find this type of analysis interesting, you should hit that subscribe button because I do videos like this on a regular basis where I deep dive into chart structures and fractals and examine patterns from the past. You can also hit that thumbs up button if you found value in this video. It, it would mean a lot to me. You know, I am not a financial advisor, so none of this information that I present here should be construed as financial or investment advice. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.